Okay, uh, so this is uh, me and Tanya's project for my Intro to Microcomputers. Uh, what we made was um, we have a camera and a motor over here. This motor has a cutoff valve so that when we apply a voltage to it, it opens. And we open and close it real fast to make a single water drop. This water drop will now fall and hit this pool of water. And at that moment, the camera will go off and take the picture. We also made it so that the microprocessor will use the LCD to um, change settings, like change how long you want the motor open to get a bigger drop, or uh, we can make it so that the camera will wait longer to take the picture. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is our setting menu. So first is displays welcome. We press, it waits for you to press the button. So you press the button and it says press button four to start and press button one for settings. So we're gonna press the first button. Now it asks you if you wanna do a single drop or a double drop. For this one, we're gonna do a single drop. So now you press the next setting since you're okay with that one. So the camera setting, it asks you like how many mic milliseconds do you want? So this one has 220, so what if we wanna change it? You press the second button. Now, you can put any number in here that you want, but I'm gonna put like one, two, three. Now, if you press star, it saves it. So, you press star, save it. Now we're gonna go to the next setting. Next setting is the motor setting. So, say we wanna change that again. So you press the second button, and then we press numbers over here. So two, five, eight. Now let's say you didn't want those numbers. So you press A to reset the numbers, and you press these numbers again. So one, four, seven. And then you press star to save that. Now, Say you want to go to this one, but you don't know how long you want that one to be. So you change it, change this one here, and start to save. So now, number of cycles, zero, five. Save that one, and then you go to the next. Now, let's say you didn't want those, and yours didn't work. So then you press the third button to change all the way back to the default setting. So now it goes... All of them goes back to the original numbers that they had. And then you press button four to start. Okay, we go? Oh, okay, cool, beans. Uh, so, if you wanna run the program, you press this last button. So when we press the last button, we're on single mode, so it's only shooting one drop down and the camera takes the picture of it going up based on the settings that you put on the setting menu. It will save those over and carry back. Um, on the LCD, it will say running and it will also display how many pictures you've taken. And then after all your pictures are taken, it will take you back to the setting menu so you can redo this again or repeat the process. So back down to setting one, press one for settings. So you press one and let's say you want to do double now. You just press that. And now this if you run it, we'll run two drops, and we're hopefully getting the picture of the collision of the first drop coming up and hitting the second one. And we'll provide an example of what it looks like at the end. But, yeah. Uh, to do this, we used IRQ as our button so that it's always looking for this button push and as soon as the button push it will run our code for it. Uh, we did run the setting menu through the main and we used a bunch of switch statements. And yeah. So these are just some of the pictures we got when we did it on single mode. Okay. And these were some that we got for the double. Oh shoot. So uh you can't really see the collision here, but this picture, you can really see what we're talking about where the water drop comes up and hits the second drop. 